thank you all. It's my honor and pleasure to be here to offer or add my own special greetings on this special occasion on behalf of my colleagues and the trustees, and also thank on behalf of the trustees and me personally, Mort, you and the foundation for what you're, what you're doing for CSU and for the Honors College today. I've had the pleasure of knowing Mort for uh, a lot of years. Not all of his years, but a lot of years. I, I first met him in the context of his business career during, when he was building Premier Industrial into a really extraordinary business. And since then, I have had occasion, had occasion to watch him as he engages in philanthropy in a very big way. And it's been interesting to me to watch him apply the same standards, the same style, the same techniques to philanthropy that he applied to his business. It'll be no surprise to any of you who know Mort that you got to have a plan, and the plan has to be in the direction of excellence. And that's what we humbly believe he has applied in judging Cleveland State and our Honors College and the principles that, that this college stands for. Because we, education has been one of the foci of the Mandel Foundation and of Mort. And one of the things he has been interested in through education is in preparing young people to play the role that they have the ability to play in a free society. And we feel here at Cleveland State as we, we work on engaged learning that that's precisely what we're trying to do. And Mort, what you and the foundation are doing today in establishing scholarships for honor students and, a, and an endowed chair does exactly that. It helps to launch our students in the direction that they have the ability and the potential to play. Good afternoon, I'm Liz Leifelt, and it is my distinct honor to serve as the Dean of the Jack Joseph and Morton Mandel Honors College and the Mandel Professor in Humanities. The very generous gift of the Mandel family has made this college possible. Our students are supported by generous full tuition scholarships and are freed from the anxieties of figuring out how to pay for college. Given these opportunities, they excel and make noteworthy contributions. So I've watched as our students get accepted to medical school, move into careers like being a nurse in the surgical ICU at the Cleveland Clinic, get selected for academic honor societies, get chosen as college valedictorians, get scholarships to attend law school, land plum internships, and generally excel. And importantly, our students give back. They serve as officers in various student organizations, work as tutors, and engage in community service projects. I believe that these things are possible not simply because our students are high achieving, which they certainly are, but also because of the community and purpose that being members of the Mandel Honors College affords them. It is here that they grow into future leaders. The Mandel Honors College lives and breathes at the center of Cleveland State University, an urban public university with deep roots in the local community. By recruiting and retaining academically talented students who are becoming strong leaders, we enrich the experience in all of our classrooms and throughout the campus community. So Mr. Mandel, thank you. It is your gift that makes all of the things I've just described possible and that means that every day I get to see the transformative power of the Mandel Honors College in the lives of our students. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Titus Langu, and I am an honor student here at CSU um, in my final year in the Mechanical Engineering Program. Over the past three years, the Honors College has been instrumental to my academic and professional growth. Besides the obvious financial blessing that has given to me and my family, it has also given me the opportunity to reach further and discover more of the world than I may have otherwise been able to do. Throughout my college years, I've come to the realization that the world is like a beautifully painted canvas. Upon high school graduation, many students, myself included back then, have a truncated view of what, um, what this piece of art is like, only being aware of a small corner of it when in reality, there exists a vast, exciting expanse of color and unlimited possibilities. College is a time to explore this vast expanse of beauty and the Honors College has helped me explore much farther than, than I would have ever imagined. Thanks to all of you for joining us for what is truly a transformative moment in the history of CSU. And that is the dedication of our ninth college. 
the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mendel Honors College. <clears throat> so I am profoundly grateful to the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mel Foundation and the supporting foundations for making the gift that allowed us to take this honors program from a program to a college. So Mort Mendel has devoted his life personally and professionally to the goal of changing the world. There's not many people who say, I have a goal of changing the world. There are fewer who actually mean it. Um, and there are even fewer who put their money where their mouth is. Uh, and indeed, that is the goal. He has been a driving force for positive change, both here in Cleveland around the country, and indeed around the world. Mort Mandel grew up to be a self-made leader and philanthropist. In 1940, he and his brothers bought their uncle's auto parts store for $900 and grew Premier Industrial Corporation into one of the most successful companies in the history of the New York Stock Exchange. Since founding the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mendel Foundation in 1953, the Mendels have been funding social initiative leadership throughout the world. And today's gift, this gift by the Mandel Foundation, really is an investment, Mark, really in a next generation of leaders. Leaders that grow out of our neighborhoods, leaders that grow out of the west side, leaders that grow out of the east side, leaders that grow out of every neighborhood, leaders that come internationally to come to Cleveland State. Uh, so we truly are, and it's our mission um, to build, sustain, and have these young people reinvest their leadership skills in the development and redevelopment of this great city. Thanks to them, what started as the program a decade ago today formally becomes a college. And 500 plus students are now enrolled in the University Honors and University Scholars program are receiving an education that will not only transform their lives, and it does transform their lives, those elements that they talked about, the ability to learn with peers, the ability to be in a small, connected community, the ability to have a global expanse in their learning experience, the ability to be challenged, to be asked to walk the extra mile in every single course that they take here. These are the things, um, as you know better than anyone, that grow leadership. So it's my privilege now um, to introduce to you uh, the man who has created the ninth college at Cleveland State University, Mort Mendel. Well, <clears throat> first I want to thank uh, those of you who said uh, such wonderful things about me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and uh, actually, I thought the compliments were a little less than I'm usually, I usually, I usually receive. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, as to those of you who planned this, uh, from the moment we got out of our automobiles, uh, I would say that I've been to a lot of these, some about the Mandels, some about others. Uh, I'd say the trumpet, <laughs> the applause, the lineup, the the, the actors that you got from Central Casting or wherever, uh, very impressive. So this has been uh, a, a privilege to sit and listen to, uh, to uh, your sharing my ideas with the whole group. I consider this a privilege. I know that uh, philanthropist donors uh, help make a lot of wonderful advances possible. But it's only when the investee, the person who uh, receives the philanthropy, that the dream can be realized. Giving the money is important, uh, uh, you know, uh, for sure. <clears throat> but my brothers and I, and me personally, 
really consider gifts like this an investment, an investment in the better world we all want. I'm guessing everybody in this room, including the students, uh, want the world to be a better place, want to see it personally, want to fulfill our own personal dreams. But uh, there's a certain amount of goodness in the kind of people that are in this room that gets uh, expressed in ways like this, whether you're the dean, whether you're a member of the board, whether you're the president, uh, whatever your task is, or the President Emeritus, whatever your task is, it's people like us, if I can say that, that are the forces that counter the, uh, maybe crazy is the only word I can think of, events going on in the world, the investment that we make in something like the Honors College, in education where a lot of our money has gone, most of it to higher education, but in education where people like us can continue the fight and people like the honor students, they're the ones who are going to continue the fight. That's why it's such a privilege to make this investment. I mean, I want to help everybody, you know, be global. But this is an investment in people who are likely to be the leaders uh, of the future, not just at uh, Cleveland State but in other philanthropy and other investments we've made in higher education. And so uh, thank you all for uh, all the nice words. You can continue saying them if you want. <laughs> and uh, I'm very pleased to those of you who represent Cleveland State University. I'm very pleased to be your junior partner. Thank you all very much. OK. So now if the students would, after your spirited welcome to Mr. Mandel when he came, give me a spirited countdown, okay? Uh, for us, again, to unveil this, uh, which will always be, which will always be uh, a tribute to you, your foundation, and what you've created here. Let's go, ready? All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 